This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath. Hi everyone, it's Razi LK and I'm back with another review and today it's a toy or it's a collectible. It's NECA Iron Maiden 40th anniversary number of the beast. And I just want to clarify something first. I'm not what we call a metalhead because I don't know all the bands. I don't know all the group members. I just enjoy heavy metal, you know, as a genre and, you know, having fun listening to music. But I really like this album. And when NECA came out with this, uh, I had some points with uh, GC, DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. So I used those points to get this guy. And it's already opened and it's not an articulated figure i'll show you uh but yeah i just wanted to do something different and this allows you to recreate the album and the single cover so yeah that's pretty cool i really enjoyed this uh you know having this on my display uh it's very different uh, i don't collect NECAs, uh but uh, i do get uh, the uh, you know odd uh, NECA universal monsters and stuff like that from my girlfriend for her halloween display so anyway, thanks for coming by to listening to uh, listen to this, and uh, hopefully you will uh, you know want to buy some uh, Nika Iron Maiden afterwards. I it's worth it. It's really fun if you're uh, a fan of the the band or you know heavy metal as a, as a whole. But before I go on with the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. So, not this, sorry. And now, let's roll the intro. Alright, so this is a bit of an undignified position, but I mean, he, without the stand, he doesn't stand. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, same with the uh, the devil. Uh, so let's uh, go over, uh, well the box itself, you know, it's pretty, you know, standard NECA stuff from what my girlfriend had. I mean, they show you that you can do uh, the uh, the scene from the, uh, what the hell, the, 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 the single, sorry. Uh, so that's um, that's pretty good. Um, I seem to be having an issue with posing him looking tall like that. So maybe we'll try something now. You have, again, this scene here. Sorry about the ring light, but this is a very reflective surface. Uh, you have uh, a description uh, based on the album. Recreate both the classic single and album cover. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites. Hold on, let me raise this. This is probably one of my favorite album cover of all times. I mean, it's iconic. Uh, and, you know, they did a really good job. Actually, you know what, can I? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's pen it like that. I mean, you can tell the difference. But it's pretty well done. But they do a lot of force perspective, I'm guessing, for this... Uh, picture because uh, the the articulation at the waist is barely there so he leans forward and the hand anyway you'll see the hand sticks forward a little bit so anyway all right so you have the stand which is the river of fire and then you have the little eddy here uh, that the devil thinks he's controlling so based on the uh, the album covers uh, Eddie won that fight so yeah and then you have a little flame on the other side to recreate the album. So yeah, that's for the uh, Eddie's left foot. And then you have uh, peg holes here for the devil and there's this one is for Eddie. Uh, so it's kind of, it, it, there's not a lot of possibility with this. This is really just to re recreate the album cover. And this is what I mean uh, with uh, Eddie, uh, there's, barely a waist uh, ab crunch you know so you can put it here um, so basically when they say that you can recreate the album the, the single covers um, 
yeah, you have to turn the hand like this. You kind of see that's the thing. Once you have the stand on him, the other leg doesn't touch down. So, and if you, if I just leave it, you know, he just falls down. So, uh, yeah. But you can put the head in between the blood. Well, let me do it off camera. I don't want to break it. So there you go. This is, uh, see what I mean by fourth perspective? He, he's leaning forward a little too much. Like in the album, he kind of looks like this, but now it, he's facing downward. So if, you know, I put the camera down a little bit, you get a, a better perspective. So when he's up on the shelf, higher than, you know, where I'm seating, it looks amazing. So maybe I'll try to do a shot like that uh, afterwards. Uh, so that's what you can do. Uh, the head itself, come on, stuck there now, there you go. The devil head itself looks really good. Oh, having a hard time focusing, come on camera, you can do this, there you go. Um, I never noticed, that's my observation sense, it's terrible. Uh, I never noticed that he had like more like mermaid fins rather than the classic devil horn. Uh, but it looks really good. It's quite unique uh, for a look for, you know, our Lord Satan. This looks really good. Nice. Come on, focus. Keep losing focus. Looks really good. And then the devil himself. Uh, this is an accessory that comes uh, separately, but it's so tight in that hand that I'm not going to move it. And you see, when he's like this, he's looking completely down. But on the album, he's looking kind of like this. So it's really a question of uh, force perspective because there's no articulation on any of the, the arms or the legs, uh, but the wings do have articulation so that you can place it um, so that Eddie is not obstructed by it. But, you know, but there's not much else to do. You can't really pose him in any other pose. So, but it's a good representation of, you know, the album. Uh, so basically you put him over little Eddie like this and then you kind of just put the other uh, the other foot behind the fire and there you go see look at the angle I have to, to use so that it recreates the uh, the album so, you know, the eyesight has to be a little lower. So I guess on the cover, we're looking down from under a mountain, like, you know, not under the mountain, but down a mountain uh, or a cliff. So, but this, it looks freaking awesome. I'm sorry, but this is a good representation. This is, the colors is good. Uh, you know, the black and red with the wings, you know, the all the veins inside the wings. Very detailed. The head sculpt is really good. Matches what we have. I mean, the mustache, I think I knocked it a little bit, but overall. And then even the little Eddie here, you know, uh, that the devil thinks he's controlling. Uh, it's well done. I mean, you have the color, you have the... The only thing is that there's no actual strings. So that would be really cool. Uh, but man, I like this. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast. And then, Eddie, you have, you know, you put the flame in, you put... Oh, well, let's look at his articulation before. Uh, nothing at the, you know, the foot moves a little bit. Um, and then you have a rotation here at the arm. Uh, you have... An elbow, oh man, this is so tight. You have an elbow joint here, really tight, and the hand will rotate like this and will move a little bit, you know, back and forth. Does this one turn? No, it doesn't. And then this one here also extends, and this rotates. And yeah, the fire I added, and it's hard to put in, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then the hand moves. Does it move up and down? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, the hand. The shoulder has a joint. A tight one. And the head rotates a little bit. Left and right like this. 
up and down. So this is my favorite version of Eddie. I mean, there's been many. Uh, and then even the fire in his eyes, it's at the same angle that it is on the album cover because his head is tilted, but the fire keeps going straight up. Uh, so I think that's well done. Nope, this is, you know, and our parents were so afraid of us, you know, worshipping the devil and shit like that. I miss the 80s, where the worst thing that could happen to any franchise was a bored mom. Happened to Dungeons and Dragons, happened to... All right, he's really hard to put in because everything kind of gets in the way. So the hand has to go this way. Maybe if I move the foot a little more. There you go. And plug it in like that. Plug this in. So, all right. I'm going to do a little bit of freestyle camera. So sorry about that. But if you look from the top... The hand is way forward than the head, so he's not actually on top of the devil uh, holding the strings, you know, he's a lot more forward. But if you move and you do it like this, kind of a forced perspective, it works, you know? So I think it's both a little bit annoying, but ingenious at the same time. So. You know, and force perspective has been used for generations. So, all right, let me place it and clean it up properly and then do a final thought. For it is a human number. Its number is 666. Well, this is as good as I can get it. I'm not sorry, though, I'm not that great. But it looks really good. Now, if you notice here on the box, the leg doesn't go behind here. They don't actually use the pin that they put on the stand. So that's why it's placed better on, so I would need an, an extra stand. But you know, the little one here is for this foot and then you have a gap here and so yeah. But overall, if uh, you put it down the, this way, this looks close enough. I like it. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.